What up, what up, what up, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Jess, and welcome back to another Madden 25 gameplay. Today we have ourselves a very, very amazing special game. We are going up against Takeaway. If you guys don't know who Takeaway is, man, he is one of the best players in the Madden community. He is one of those competitive tournament goers, and the guy is a monster. <laughs> By far, one of the best Madden players I've ever met. Um... His link is in the description. Annotation should be on the screen. Uh, he does have a YouTube channel. He posts daily. And if you're looking to get on things on the competitive side, definitely hit him up. He shows a lot of free tips. He's got ebooks and all that fun stuff. The guy's a monster, so definitely go on ahead and check him out. I go with the Redskins. He goes with the Vikings. Also, as he's uh, hitting me up with a couple customs, you're going to do me like that, take. Um, I'm also in his franchise, which I believe starts Saturday or maybe tonight. I'm not sure, but uh, what I do know is that um, his franchise has a ton of commentators and good players. You talk about uh, takeaways, obviously, in it. God's Thumbs, Zeddy, Route Combo, Madden Daily, myself. I believe Cookie Boy's in it. Just a, a franchise that's going to be so much fun, and I can't wait. I went ahead. Um, it's not a draft. It's regular teams. I went ahead and got the Panthers. So, um, I will be posting every game from that franchise. Hopefully, we can do good. There's a lot of ballers in there. Uh, right there, he takes me for six right there. Uh, he's running with the Vikings. And he let me know that he's won probably like his last 30 games with his um, new run scheme that he's been using. And I understand why. You know, he mainly runs with the Vikings. That's who he also has in his franchise. Because... You know, well, let's be honest, man. Uh, Adrian Peterson is the best player in Madden. He's the best player in the game. And when he was going with the Vikings, I didn't want to, you know, overwhelmingly pick a better team. Even though he's 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 a better player than me by far. You know what I mean? So, um, 49ers would be probably a fair matchup for me to try and get myself the best opportunity to win going up against somebody so good. But, you know, if I did win, as we throw a pick right there, if I did win, it would have been because of, you know, the, the team disparity. So, I try to match up as best as I can with a team that got some linebackers that can hopefully be able to stop the run. So, uh, the Redskins, they got a rack they got Kerrigan, and obviously I want to try and, you know, stop the run because when you go up against the Vikings, you know that you're going to get a heavy dosage of Adrian Peterson. So, I felt like the Redskins were the best matchup with a low overall to try and get myself um, the best chance to go on ahead and, and uh, stop him. So, you know, I already know that it's going to be a headache stopping him. He comes out. Um, looks like he's running Seattle, and he's also using, like, you know, Jumbo Z and their, their pistol package with, like, their 12 offensive linemen. It's a fumble! And it's frustrating. It's a headache, and I got to try and do my best to stop it. Now, offensively, you know, I pretty much stopped running pistol. I'm now trying my best to work with the Kansas City playbook and uh, Kansas City in 4-3. But for this game, I, I still ran 4-3. You know, because it doesn't matter what defense I run. I'm probably not going to be able to stop him anyways. <laughs> but um, for the offense, I was like, you know what? Let me go with pistols. I'm familiar with it. I've only labbed Kansas City maybe two or three games. So, you know, I don't want to go into this game with the new playbook. You know, so I went with the playbook I'm familiar with as we score right there. Now, we do get ball at halftime. So that right there is big. We're not out of this game completely. You know what I mean? We start off with the possession to begin the second half. So, um, maybe I can score to end the second half. I mean, excuse me, second quarter, and then score to begin the first quarter. Second quarter. Oh, my goodness, I'm confused. And then score to begin the second half. And then, you know, that right there is a 14-point unanswered run. And that right there might be able to tie me the game, considering I'm already down one possession. So, uh, right here, we got him in the bind, fourth and six, and he decides to run the ball. You know your running scheme is good when you do a ballsy move like run the ball in fourth and six. Uh, was I expecting it? No. Did I think that he might run? I did. I, I definitely thought there was a possibility of him being able to run. I mean, after once fourth and six, he no huddled. And I, I just really wasn't sure. Uh, like I said, I wasn't expecting it. Third down, I finally got him in a must-need-to-pass situation. And then he catches me with the wheel route over on the right side. Because he's running the ball so well, he's only passing like two or three times. And because he's passing so little, we got lucky right there. Because he's passing so little... I don't know what his go-to... I thought I had him in the backfield right there. I don't know what his go-to passes are. And that's what's so great about having a heavy run scheme the same way I got a heavy run scheme. You know what I mean? Uh, when you don't need to pass the ball, when it is time for you to pass the ball, you don't know what to expect because 
I don't know what his go-to plays are. I don't know what type of routes he likes to run or none of that. So I'm just trying to go on the fly here whenever I do get lucky enough to put him in a passing situation. So right here, we hold him to a field goal. We waste our last time out. Now, like I said, man, we do get ball at halftime. So this right here could be big. You know what I mean? We could score, get ball at half, possibly score again, and now we're in the lead. And I, I wouldn't even have expected to uh, get myself a lead against such a great player like Takeaway. So... Uh, this right here is a very, very important drive. Worst case scenario, let's tack on a field goal, but I definitely want to be able to get in that end zone uh, right here. Try my you know, I really don't like Alfred Morris. Uh, I wanted to go with a speedy back because um, the way I run the ball, you know, I want speed. I want to be able to hit the outside and take off, you know, with, with uh, you not being able to do any stiff arms, you know, and trucking almost nerfed. Like, it's, it's almost impossible to get through guys now. Uh, takeaway somehow figured it right there. We drop a touchdown. Should have had it, man. But nobody in Washington really has great hands like that. Uh, right here we go. We try a couple of uh, tee bags, but that right there fails. Uh, I wanted to go with the speedy running back, you know, somebody that could hit the outside and take off. Uh, but, you know, I had to match up with the Vikings, and I needed to get me a group of linebackers that can hopefully block shed and get an Adrian Peterson face. Uh, so we're down 10 to 17. But like I said, man, we do get ball at halftime right here. I thought he was going to take it all the way, right? It looks like he has all this room towards the left side, right? And I was like, no! And thankfully, a group of Redskins comes out of nowhere. For a split second, I thought he had me. So, uh, we go into halftime. Down seven. We do receive ball. Now, I, I feel confident that I can probably score on him. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm definitely running the ball, you know, pretty well. Besides that interception, I haven't really been forced to pass the ball. So, as long as uh, I can continue running the ball and doing well... I feel okay right here, man. We run towards the right side. Good blocking right here. And this is what I mean. He's, he's slow. He's slow. And you just can't do anything but get as many yards as, as you can. Uh, right here again, Alfred Morris runs right into a tackle. But we get a good gain of seven. Second and three right here, man. I tried a stretch play. And that right there just got blown up. Huge third down right here. Third and eight. We decide to call a run play. And look at Lou Jr. just squeezing right in through like 17 tackles. And we end up taking it all the way to the crib. For a huge touchdown right there. Now that the game is tied, and now it's like, okay, I got to deal with this offense, right? And, and I'm having, you know, trouble with it. He's running the ball down my throat. And uh, even though I know it's coming, it's still tough to stop because he'll, he'll mix in a, a pass here and there. But even though you know the run is coming, I'm run committing, um, you know, trying to stack sides. It doesn't matter. He still has Adrian Peterson. You know, he still falls forward every play. He still manually breaks tackle. Besides, you know, take away trucking people and juking people, he'll just naturally by himself just bounce off of guys. You know what I mean? Uh, right here, we got him rolling out. Tight throw, but he ends up completing it for first down. And I'm thinking to myself, let's hold him to a field goal or something right there. You know, try run commit. It, it, it just doesn't matter. Adrian Peterson is so fast, so quick, so strong. He, he's tough to bottle up, man. And, and that is the reason I think like in the last three years with the Vikings, I can honestly say I, I've easily lost less than five games with the Vikings. This year, I'm probably like 15 and two with them. Like, uh, it's a very, very tough team to stop. Right here, we go up the middle. And, oh, my goodness. Takeaway. Where are your users at, my man? Where are your users? He completely bombed on that tackle. And we end up going for six. And right now, again, we are going back and forth, back and forth. This isn't even a situation I thought I would be in because Takeaway is such a dominant player. You know what I mean? He's really, really, really good, really tough on the sticks, man. So I didn't even think to be in this situation. So, you know, now that I'm here, it's like, okay, man, let's let's muster up a stop, man. Let's see if we can get something going. Like I said, even if I could get him to a field goal, something to give me an advantage. Third and three, he calls a uh, play action. Like I said, man, he passes so little that when he does, I don't even know what's coming. You know what I mean? So it's... It's, it's tough. His offense is extremely frustrating. And I can say that he has trucking uh, down pat. You know what I mean? It's, it's something about trucking that he figured out that I don't think anybody really has. <laughs> that uh, it's, Oh, look at them pancakes. That, you know, he was just running over guys. You know what I mean? Like PS3 style, just completely run over guys. When I try, I get no reaction. Right there, he decided to go for two. He tried to... um. He always goes for two. If you watch Takeaway, you guys know he goes for two. I was surprised that he was going for one most of the time. Maybe just out of, you know, respect. It's not a money game or anything like that. So, you know, he's just trying to, you know, uh, go for one. But he always goes for two. So, um, he did let me know, uh, 
He's like, uh, you know, GS, I'm going for two. So I'm like, all right. So uh, we re commit and thankfully we were right. It was running. We stopped them. So that right there may be the advantage we need. You know what I mean? We can score and actually go up in this game. And that right there could be huge. So right here, um, we decide, you know, continuously running the ball. You know, we're running the ball the same way um, he's running the ball on us. You know, we're having a lot of success for it. Uh, right here, man, we call a read option, and we get in the end zone, and we take our first lead of the game. And I'm thinking myself, yes. Now, tough situation. You know, only, you know, a couple minutes remaining. So, he definitely uh, close enough for him to go on ahead and clock. So, um, not to mention he's running the ball very well. So, uh, second and 13 right there after a, a stop. He decides to run the ball again, and uh, we get ourselves a good stop. Third and nine. Can we finally come through? Again, he decides to pass the ball, hits me with another wheel route. And uh, again, uh, I've said this several times, but when he's passing the ball, I don't know what to look for. Right there, he catches me off guard with the screen. He's def already in field goal range right now. And I'm like, great, man. Maybe we can hold him to a field goal and try and take it from there. So um, because I, I know he's playing you know, out of respect, obviously he's trying to win, but he's not clocking me here. You know what I mean? Uh, he could have waited to kick, I mean, to uh, go all the way down to one second height. But, you know, he's not he's not doing that. Third and seven, he calls the screen, and we stop it. Fourth down, he decides to go for it. He's like, forget the field goal. And we give up the first down. He dives out of bounds. And like I said, because he's not clocking me, he could easily just clock it down for a game-winning field goal. But, you know what, he's not doing it. He's actually giving me an opportunity to make something happen. But um, I, don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anything. I don't have any timeouts. We stop him shy of the first down. He gets stopped at fourth and inches. He does kick the field goal with leaving me only four seconds remaining. And that's going to be the end of the game, guys. He ends up winning the game. Close game. One of the better games I've played all year against one of the top players you can think of in the Madden community. And I'm, I'm definitely proud of, you know, myself for holding my own and not getting blown out. Right here, I thought I had something right here. I might have. Might, oh, man, but not really. But like I said, that's the end of the game, guys. His link is in the description. Annotation is on the screen. So show him love the takeaway. Make sure you guys subscribe to him. And like I said, man, he's got a, a fan. Is, not a fan. Uh, excuse me. He's got a franchise with tons of commentators, and I'm in there. And I'm excited, so I'm going to be bringing you those gameplays as well. That's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Love each and every single one of y'all. It's your boy, GS. I'm out. Peace. Give it to me, baby. And don't forget to subscribe to Takeaway. Let them know GS sent you.